Jamal Jones, number seven, second year point guard, Ryerson University. Jones with the steal! Lays it in for two! This game is tied! Off the court to best. Back to Jones for three. Yes! Got it! This kid can't you every I got a chance to watch him in a high school tournament. Probably had a triple double, three points, like 12 assists, 11 rebounds. And you just had to watch him one time to know that he was a special talent. And he was doing that with a torn meniscus at the time. But it was uh, pretty clear to me after the first time I saw him that he was going to be a critical piece in our recruiting. And uh, we went after him pretty hard right after that. It's just the opportunity of being at a school that wasn't really basketball dominant in the SAS or OUA. I heard that Arsenal really had a point guard, so I was just trying to fill in a boy that they really needed from the past. And I expected to just come in and just develop, get better every day. The CS game, you have to be a lot smarter to play the CS game. And it was very it was very tough for me to adjust. Like maybe you're the target on a good on your high school team to get boxing one. The CIS guys are bullying you. The physicality is a lot more physical. You gotta be more. You gotta be more dialed in on the offensive and defensive end. You can't take possessions off. To be honest, we we came in expecting to do big things right off the bat. It was rough because we brought in what, six new guys. We had a couple of vets. We had young guys. First semester, we were already thinking about results of being six and two shocking people, we were ready for Carlton, but we haven't even played a CAS game yet. But in the second semester, we buckled down, simplified things, started from scratch again, and we won 9-5 and got into the playoffs. and got our first playoff win that Rice hasn't gotten in a while, so that was a good feeling to end like that. I'm all on the court. He's fast. Um, he's fast. Um, it's pretty quick. He's faster. And um, yeah, he, he can really move. You know, I think it, it probably could have gone as well as, as any first year could. I mean, he, uh, and more so, not just from a production perspective, but just an approach perspective. I think he handled all the accolades with, with a lot of humility. And, um, you know, at the same time, he was phenomenal on the court. It was just it was a great feeling from the school, the CIS. I don't really have any like goals like Rookie of the Year, like Male Athlete of the Year. Those things, hopefully they come. I don't control that. I just play. He has the potential to be one of the best to ever play in this league. And he would never, ever let you know that. Me personally, I'm very hard on myself. No matter how well I play or how poor I play, I always find something that will haunt me and bother me throughout that game or throughout that year. What was it like playing Pan Am again? That was probably the best experience, basketball experience I've had. I thought I was gonna be there just like watch or like chess look the experience, but I actually got to play. It was, it was a good experience playing against teams across the world like Serbia, which they've won like the last five future games. They've just in the finals. It was, it was a great experience. He was the youngest player on the team. And like he was the only, he was the only first year player on that team. And the next oldest, I think it was third year, was Tyson Ray. Yeah, so I think that's big for our school, big for our program. I think there's a lot of lessons that he's learned that he can share as a player with other players that are going through struggles, whether it's you know, just physical, mental, emotional, and you know, being able to do that at that level is a real help. It's helped him a lot as a ball player. He comes back and just the way I think he, he comments on the game and the way he views the game now. I'm sure they're some of the best coaches at our level. It's definitely uh, helped him improve his, like, his basketball IQ, I guess you could say. Because you play against pros, guys that get paid to play. You should play against someone like JJ Bray, who's won a national, who has won a national championship with Dallas Mavericks. It's tough to guard, but you learn. He paces himself. He picks. Like he just, he's just so good. And that this shows you gotta be dialed on defense, or else it's gonna kill you. It showed me what you need to work on to get back home in Canada, and what I can, and like the stuff that I learned with Coach Smart from Carlton try to help instill it into my game and to like our team concerts with Ryerson. So it's just a great experience all together and hopefully get back there again in 2015 in Toronto. I don't know, 
one thing I was saying last year after my first year is that we were one game away from the Final Four. I think getting to the Final Four is your goal. It's a different. It's a different. It's different than when I came in my rookie year because I was a quiet kid, did my own thing. And now it's like put into a leader role. The one thing that that all good point guards do is that you know, outside of their skill set, they're able to really be the extension of a coach on the floor and, and in order to do that you, know, you need to have, be a great communicator and uh, he's, he's certainly making a better effort and improving in that area. You gotta do a lot more speaking, you gotta check and see how you guys are doing, you gotta do a lot more, talk, coach a lot more, a lot more housekeeping, holding myself more accountable, holding other players accountable. Like if I see something that shouldn't be done I should be able to go tell somebody I can't slip in school. The worst feeling is being in the headlines of flunking a class or probation. You don't want to hear stuff like that. He's certainly going to be involved in basketball the rest of his life. Depends on what capacity. I think he'll make a great coach one day. But he's got a lot of playing in him. As long as he continues to improve and progress and work on the areas that he needs to in order to get to that next level, I think he's got a real chance. It's up to us in the locker room to really show people that how good we really could be. Right now, just people say, yeah, we're potential, we're very dangerous, but we haven't really proved that to anybody yet. Hopefully, when we buckle down during the season, we can like, show people how good we really are and be more of a team on the court. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, or what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men.